first look at Dubfest OS based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Dubfest OS based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. As you can see, it does come out with this great boot animation out of the box. And me personally, I am a big fan of this boot animation, one of the best boot animations I have seen in a custom ROM. Next up, you have Launcher, Launcher baked into the ROM out of the box. That means you have full gesture control over your home screen. So if I swipe up from the right, it can open an application from me, swipe up from the left, and it should open up the Google Assistant for me. And here it is, kind of noob with gestures, but it does work absolutely fine. And of course, you did see that we can move across the different applications with this gesture and swipe up from the center will open the application drawer for us. Pretty cool, pretty dope. Next, we can have a look at our quick setting tiles. Of course, we can customize the icons, the colors, the background of the quick setting tiles. Whether you want to see the text or not, you do have an inbuilt gaming mode as well and when you enable this gaming mode you will not get any notifications which means you will not be disturbed while you are playing your favorite games click on the edit icon and you have a bunch of other quick setting tiles as well which do include a screen recorder and other various options and other various toggles as well and if you notice one thing my background right now is blurred so this is also one of the customizations which is present in Dubfest ROM. As for the camera application which is baked in, you get Snapdragon camera baked into the ROM but of course Gcam ports work absolutely fine and you will find them in the pinned comment on this video. Next up we can go into the settings and then you can dive into Dubquest. This is where you have major customizations from Dubfest OS. First up is theming. In theming click on themes you have Two baked in themes one is default and the other is chronic green you can always create your own custom theme as well if you prefer that then if you go into clock you have multiple clock options so you have default analog type text binary digital and vertical going to grid you can customize the icon setup on your home screen so you have three by three four by four five by five and six by six going to wallpaper of course you'll have dubfest wallpapers baked in pretty nice and you also have all the pixel wallpapers including pixel live wallpapers baked in as well and the ones which are not baked in you can obviously download them from the play store next up in theming you have accent preset so you can choose between these various options and if you do not like any of them you can always use the accent picker which will let you either enter a hex or decimal code for the color you want or you can choose any color using the slider tap on it bam applied working like a boss pretty impressive then you can configure the rounded corners so either you can use framework values if you don't like that you can adjust them according to your personal preference working like a boss i just prefer to use the framework values that is it about for theming moving over to status bar multiple customizations for the status bar as well system icons you can choose whatever icons you want to see in the status bar including your bolt icon and if you want to see low priority notifications or not then if you want a logo in your status bar you can choose that as well using the toggle and then if you click on status bar logo you can choose where you want it left or right and what is the style you're looking for so you have all these different options let's choose q and bam q in the building then if you want your network traffic indicators again toggle for that along with options for that as well battery icon toggle for that where do you want to see it what is the style you're looking for what is the battery percentage you want whether you want the battery percentage while charging or not so again you know bunch of customizations next up you can customize the clock you have toggles to show the clock including the date and then what is the format you're looking for where do you want the clock right left or center whether you want am pm or not what is the font you want for the clock and similar options you have for the date as well if you enable that toggle you also have carrier label settings again where you want it 
how you want it to look all those options can be found in the status bar next up you have quick settings so this is all your customization for the quick settings where do you want the status bar pull downs for quick settings if you say right edge swipe down from right they are expanded swipe down from the left they are not expanded then you can customize the opacity of the quick setting background right now it is set to 73 let's make it 100 percent full opacity make it zero and it will be all transparent there it is now it is all transparent do you want blur behind the quick settings there it is working like a boss the text is now blurred out and if you want to override the default color themes so right now it is green right let's say we want to override it enable the toggle go into override and say we want to use a different color let's say yellow and bam there it is it is now yellow you can also change the background color as well and one of my favorite features of dub fest hmm, you can add a header image so let's enable this toggle go into header image header image provider image collection what is the option we want let's say nature swipe down bam we have a nature header image let's try something else dub fest chronic bam dub fest chronic in the building working like a boss then if you want a brightness slider in your quick settings you have a toggle for that as well which is this one over here what is the tile area customization you want whether you want the tiles to vibrate on touch and then secure tiles require unlocking this means that certain tiles will be locked until and unless you unlock the device that is you will not be able to turn them on or off from the lock screen then you have customization for the footer area and customization for the header area of the quick setting tiles as well moving over to buttons so if you want to enable or disable the navigation bar you have a toggle for that right now we have gestures which are enabled so these options won't be working for us at this point of time however if you have the three button navigation enabled then you can customize that then screen off power torch if you enable this toggle you will be able to use the power button to turn the torch on when you are on the lock screen and you also have the ability to automatically turn off the torch after a specific time which you can choose over here then you have customizations for your volume rockers so if you want to control your music playback using the volume rockers whether you want the screen to wake up using the volume rockers you can customize your volume steps and you can customize the volume panel so let's say we want alarm voice bluetooth notification and bam there it is working like a boss then we have customizations for gestures so again you can choose between different kind of gestures go into asop gestures system navigation and you can choose either gesture navigation two button or three button if you click on the settings icon next to the gesture navigation you have multiple options you can configure the sensitivity then you can configure the screen height to be used for the back area whether you want it full or you want it to the bottom you have a slider for that whether you want to enable haptic feedback for the back gesture if you want to see the animated arrow for the back gesture or not then if you want to hide the navigation bar pill you have a toggle for that i have hidden it right now let's try it again i think we'll have to restart the system ui no there it is this is the pill they are talking about i prefer it hidden because it gives me a seamless experience and if you want to block the height of virtual keyboard as touchable region in the back gesture you have a toggle for that as well then in gestures you have the option to double tap on the status bar to make your device go to sleep double tap on the lock screen to make it to go to sleep and if you want to enable three finger gesture you have a toggle for that as well bam works like a boss and if you want expanded screenshots you can use that as well so let's go back into the main settings three finger screenshot click on this guy and it will take an expanded screenshot then you have customizations for the lock screen if you want a vibration for successful fingerprint authentication you have a toggle for that then you can configure your ambient display brightness ambient notification brightness what are the lock screen shortcuts you're looking for left shortcut right shortcut you can customize all those 
whether you want to see the status bar on the lock screen or not, if you want to hide the lock icon on the lock screen, if you want lock screen charging info, which includes your volts and amperes, if you want to see a battery bar on the lock screen, you have options for the clock widget, date widget, and owner info as well. Then if you want to see media cover art and music visualizer on your lock screen, you have toggles for those as well. Then you have customization for the power menu. So if you want to disable the power menu when your device is locked, you can do that. And you can also choose what all options you want to see in the power menu. Let's enable all of these. And here it is, bam, working like a boss. Then you have customizations for notifications. Notification light, well, you can enable or disable notification light for certain applications. If you want battery charging light or not. And of course, the LED, which is at the bottom of the POCO F1, does not support RGB mode, so it will always be white. Then you have on-screen charging animation, a toggle for that. Show gentle notification header, edge lighting, noisy notifications if screen is on, and last but not the least, in-call vibration options. So if you want your phone to vibrate when a call is connected, whether you have call waiting, and when a call is disconnected, you have toggles for those as well. Then you have animations. You can configure your animation duration. Right now it is set to zero. You can increase it using the slider or using the plus sign to whatever you feel like. Then if you want to disable animations altogether, you have a toggle for that as well. And then you have customization to choose animations for different actions. So activity open animation right now it is set to grow in. So let's go into animations and this is how the animation looks like let's change this guy to say slide in from top we'll go back go into animations and bam you can see that the animation was changed so that is all about the customization options you get with animations then you have miscellaneous in miscellaneous you can choose whether you want your device to wake up when you connect it to a charger if you want to adjust the brightness by sliding across the status bar if you want to allow signature spoofing yes signature spoofing is baked in to Dubfest OS, if you want to enable scaling for legacy applications, and you also can customize your those settings if you are about that. Me personally, I just leave it as default, and of course, you have the about option which gives you details about the official websites, the owner, the maintainers, and all the other things about Dubfest OS. Then we can dive into battery. In battery, you'll see an extra option which does tell you your battery temperature if you want to know your battery temperature going into display you can use lock screen display and customize the lock screen so double tap to check phone this works absolutely fine wake your screen for new notifications go into advanced settings click on ok and you can configure your ambient display so all these options of waking up the screen notifications when you pick up your device or waking up the screen for notifications when you take the device out of your pocket. These options are working absolutely fine. If you want your display to be always on while it is charging, you can use that toggle, but I personally would recommend you don't do it. Then in display, you can choose different colors. So you have natural, boosted, saturated, and adaptive. You can use whatever you like. Then we already discussed about double tap to wake anywhere on the screen to wake the device. Works absolutely fine game driver preferences i am not sure on this so i will skip this part then you can configure your font size you can go from 80 percent to 130 percent going back you can also configure your display size your dpi if you want dashboard suggestions and dashboard conditions if you enable these options when you go back into the settings page it will give you like a notification or an informational bar as to say wi-fi is turned off or silent mode is turned on so that is something which you can control from there then if you want to enable dark theme you have a toggle for that as well and of course you can now schedule your dark theme from sunset to sunrise then you have theming so you can choose your primary color which you're looking for what is the font you're looking for bunch of options when it comes to the font the icon shape what is the icon shape you're looking for and status bar icon shape as well you can configure those options as well then in sound you can link and delink your notification and ringtone volumes if you want increasing ringtone you have a toggle for that once you enable that you can 
configure the start volume and the ramp up time as well if you want your device to vibrate for calls you have a toggle for that and you have toggles for dial pad tones screen locking sounds charging sounds charging vibrations and of course me sound enhancer is also baked into this rom next up we have security so in security fingerprint works absolutely fine however none of the android 10 custom roms have face unlock baked into them right now will it ever come i don't know i'm not a developer so i cannot answer that question for you you do have digital well-being and in system you have options like dub fest updater using which you should get notifications when you have a new rom available for the poco f1 as for the benchmark scores of course antutu 2 has been pulled from the play store which means i cannot provide you with benchmark scores for n22 but we do have benchmark scores from geekbench and 3d mark on your screen right now however as i always say benchmark scores are just numbers i personally recommend that you install the rom enjoy it this rom pretty smooth bunch of options gestures work like a boss and it's just hard to not say that i am really impressed with derp fest os and there it is peeps that was our first look at derp fest os based on android 10 running like a boss on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you